on September 19th, 2021, the Cumbre Vieja volcano on the island of La Palma in the Canary Islands began erupting. And this sent a flurry of conspiracy theorists to the interwebs, fear-mongering about a flank collapse, which thankfully never materialized. The eruption spread from a tiny fissure on the side of the island here to the forests on the western flanks of the island, lighting them ablaze, and eventually lava made it to Tudoke, burying the city. And then the Strombolian fountains and impressive lava flows of the peak eruption. Now, La Palma's been erupting now for 80 days as of December 7th. And it is 50% larger than the largest lava flow in over 1,000 years. The second largest being the Tahoya, which covered around 800 hectares. Currently, La Palma is covering 1,200 hectares or about 12.1 cubic kilometers. Here you can see the 1712 eruption, the 1585 flow here and here. And that's the, lar the, second, lar the lo second largest other than the current one. That's quite large. And then the 1494 flow and the current flow. Now, scientists are unclear how long the eruption could last, with estimates at the beginning of the eruption ranging from weeks to months. Now, the last eruption on La Palma, the Teneguilla eruption in 1971, it lasted for just over three weeks. And the most recent eruption in the Canary Islands happened underwater off the coast of El Hierro Island in 2011. And that lasted for five months. Now, as of now, the eruption on La Palma is the largest and soon to be the longest in over 1,000 years. Back in 1585, the Tahoya eruption lasted for 84 days. So in just four days, the current eruption at Cumbre Vieja will be the largest as well as the longest in over 1,000 years based on historical information. Now, it's the first eruption since 1480 to make it to VEI-3 status. And that doesn't have to do with any explosivity or danger as far as explosions. It has to do with the volume of lava soot and ash coming out of the volcano because it is already 50% larger than the Tahoya eruption back in 1585, which was VEI-2. You can imagine it is now a low-level VEI-3. So, and here's some very interesting graphic from the 1971 and 1949 eruptions and where their magma chambers were located at depth. And the current eruption, the main magma chamber was about 30 kilometers with the secondary chamber up at 12 kilometers, the, right here at the Moho. So very similar to the 1971 eruption. And here you have a, another graphic of the Cumbre, Cumbre Vieja rift here at the top and lava flows coming from said rift or the flanks thereof. Now we have an Interesting flyby from yesterday, which shows you the volcano is dying down and may be on its last gasps. And they can only put uh, bring drones up near the volcano when it is at a very low level. So take a look and we'll see what we can glean from some of the photos. Now, this is only about the third time they've been able to get so close since the eruption began 80 days ago. You can see some of the old cinder cones where Strombolian lava fountains had been shooting out. You can see the tephra and those large chunks that get blasted out during the Strombolian activity. And you can see a smart drone pilot here is taking heed and he's not going over top of the, that fumarolic activity. Now, when you're seeing white steam like that, it's steam. The black is obviously ash. 
carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide come out both with the white and the black. And there might be some sulfur deposits on this volcano, but I haven't seen any as of yet, which, well, is indicative of maybe this being the end portion of the eruption. And this video is coming from December 6th. You can see here some one main vent pushing huge amounts of ash. And today there was one paroxysm that actually went to 13,000 feet of some ash and soot. There's very low or none, no lava activity up high. And any lava flowing out is down on fissures lower down the flank on the cinder cone. So excellent video there coming from Institut Geologico y Minero de España. So give them a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Tell them Diamond sent you if you speak Spanish or just tell them in English. And here we are over at the La Palma volcano, the Cumbre Vieja, the current eruption lies. And you can see very little activity. And that's good news for the people on La Palma. Bad news for all the fear mongers hoping for a giant tsunami and millions of deaths. This certainly was an amazing expose of what's actually happening with humanity. Now, we're going to leave that running. I like the background noise. The eruption is continuing with little changes with a drop down in activity and there has been a new lava flow here which has destroyed up to 60 structures today. In all, there has been over 2,881 structures destroyed. Like we said, 1,200 hectares of lava coverage on the island. Current SO2 is at 15,000 tons per day. 89.2 kilometers of roads have been destroyed. And 3.6 kilometers of roads possibly damaged. So, that's the update. So here's the update from IGN. And this comes this morning, December 7th. Since the last statement, a total of 35 earthquakes have been located on the island of La Palma. Only one of them felt by the population. The maximum magnitude is 3.5. There has been a 4.0 today, and we'll get to that. The seismicity continues under the central area of Cumbre Vieja in the same areas of previous days. As in previous days, the island network GNSS station does not show a clear trend in the deformation of the station closest to the eruptive center. In the rest of the stations, the slight deflation possibly related to deep seismicity has stabilized. And today, in the last 24 hours, what we're looking at is a four magnitude of the greatest magnitude all day, six quakes between three and four and 24 quakes between two and three. So just 30 quakes, 31 quakes, including the 4.0 as of now in the last 24 hours. If we look at the 3D quakes with depth, we're going to see the activity has been dropping down over the last eight days quite substantially and very little activity at depth beneath the volcano. This is the main magma chamber. It is, this is the quietest it has been in 80 days since the beginning of the eruption. And so we might see this final amount of magma up above here, pushing out and well, marking the end of the eruption. Now, as we said, historically, the 1585 Tahoya eruption lasted 84 days. And we're approaching that because the current eruption on La Palma is now at the 80 day mark. Just fascinating to follow the entire eruption as it takes place. And that's a boom to knowledge. Hope you got something out of the video. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance in a dystopian world where Diamond needs to break it down for you. In layman's terms, brass tacks to bring you up to speed. And maybe you learn a little. Share this with like-minded people. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I want a big shout out to all of our one-time donors. You know who you are. Our Patreons. Become a Patreon. Support the work we do. And share this video. And become a hero. That's a boom. Be safe. We love you. Mm -hmm.